Welcome back. It's been a long time since the last video, but I had a request for more details and decided it was time I try this again. So in this video I'll be discussing the software as well as briefly touch on the PCB design. For the firmware, I'm using the NicoHood HID library to do all the heavy lifting, and I'm augmenting that with the SPI library so I can access the shift registers more efficiently. More on that in a moment. Normally, USB is a bear to deal with, but the NicoHood HID library is excellent and it's an easy way to get your HID project up and running. I'll add a link to the GitHub repo in the description below for my code, as well as the NicoHood project. A lot of what I'm doing here is really standard stuff, nothing too complicated, so I'm not going to explain it all here. But I will touch on how I'm using the SPI library to efficiently shift in data from the shift registers by utilizing the hardware SPI. Basically, we flip the load pin low and then high to latch the data in the shift registers and prepare them for shifting. The shift registers are daisy chains, so they collectively contain a 16-bit word. SPI.transfer will rapidly pull in 8 bits of information each time that it's triggered, and I populate a high byte and a low byte variable with that data in sequence. After grabbing the data, we need to combine it into a single 16-bit variable that I have called input here. Input is then checked in a loop against the bit masks of all 16 buttons by performing a bitwise AND operation. Now the reason that I decided to go the SPI route is because I've heard that it's considerably faster than performing the equivalent digital writes, though I don't have the necessary equipment to actually prove that. I made the board in EagleCAD and designed it to fit within the original enclosure and utilized the existing game port connector to interface with the joystick. I also added a PS2 port that I used to hook up a set of rudder pedals that I've been working on. The rudder pedals are in a super early prototype form, but they do work, and flying with a complete stick, throttle, and rudder pedals is awesome. Although, I'm still not very good at flying. Thanks for watching! I hope this was interesting, and if you have any questions, or if there was any part that you'd like me to elaborate on, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to create another video with more details. If you feel like supporting the channel, I've included some affiliate links in the description below.